Hello everyone, so welcome back to Financial Solutions today. So I am your coach Jay and we are here to help you build your way well. Okay, so and we are doing it in a very practical way. Okay, so I'm praying that these things will help you, especially in the, in the area of in this area of your finances. Okay. So today we'll talk about managing your money using the 10 20 70 rule okay are you ready yeah so 10 20 70 rule so this is very very simple now very basic very simple but very powerful and this will help you to become financially successful it's a rule because we have to follow it it's a very proven uh, a formula or principle so uh, it's also a formula okay so we, meaning we have a guide all we need to do is just follow it so what's the formula income so every time you receive income every time you receive money the first thing that you deduct is your tithes it belongs to god so that is the 10 that's the 10 percent then the next thing that you deduct is the savings. Okay, so this is your 20%. Then equals expenses. And this is your 70%. So very simple, 10, 20, 70 rule. But real, realistically, most people, their formula is every time they receive money the first thing that they deduct is expenses okay so if that will be your formula uh, you will end up poor you will always end up struggling financially kasi if you deduct mo na gastos babayaran lahat ng mga bills babibilin lahat yung mga kailangan sa bahay uh, mga pa personal na pangangailangan tapos yung matitira daw Dadalit sa ties and savings. Ang tanong, may natitira ba? In most cases, wala. Kaya mapapansin niyo kahit na anong taas ng iyong, kahit gaano ang tumaas ang sweldo mo, hindi ka maka, walang naiiwan kasi habang tumataas ang sweldo mo, tumataas din ang gastos mo, ang lifestyle mo. Okay, so are you learning? So, very simple. Just make sure every day you remember 10, 20, 70 rule okay so let's start it, let's study further so let's break it down we break down natin yung ating uh, 10 20 70 rule in building wealth okay so let's draw a pie okay so let's break it down let's say uh, here so this is your 10 this is your tithes. Then this is your 20. This is your savings. And this is your 70. This is your expenses. Okay? So tithes, nakalak na yan. That, that, that's a very biblical principle in unlocking the blessings of God. And this, old, this is the only verse in the Bible in Malachi 3.10 that it, it opens the heavens, the windows of heavens Okay, pouring out all the blessings to us. Well, the 20% savings. So let's break down the savings. First, you, you allot 20% for your emergency fund. Always remember that there will always be, a, there, there's a lot of uncertainties in life. Okay, at meron at meron ka mga unexpected na gastos, no? So usually emergency fund is equivalent to 6 to 12 months of your monthly income. So if you're earning 20,000 a month, so that's 120 to 240,000. Okay? So habang wala pa yung mga mga situation na yan, di pa dumadating yung mga emergencies na yan, so you just start saving. So another thing is you you also use the savings to pay off debt okay because one of the reason we cannot build wealth is 
may mga utang. So, let's say, ano ba yung mga utang mo dyan? Like credit card. So, you pay it off. Isipin mo kung nagbabayad ka ng 2,000 a month sa credit card and na-pay it off mo yan. Once na-pay off mo yung credit card, ano mang nababayaran mo sa utang will be, will turn out to be your savings. Not only, cre not only credit card, but other loans. Like if you have car loan, housing loan, so there's there are amortization you're paying or personal loan. So we need to knock it down so it can be converted into savings. Another thing is you allot savings for your retirement. Okay, so these are the things that we need to uh, consider. Okay, so when it comes to, so dyan mo ngayon hahati-hatiin yung 20% na savings. Okay, so later on we will have a separate training na the act, we will do the actual computation of the 10, 20, 70 rune. Okay, for the sake of time, so we want to limit it so you can absorb it easily and you can immediately apply it. So I would suggest that you share this video. Okay, we'll post it. It's, it's in the YouTube. It's posted, posted in the YouTube. We have the Financial Solutions Today YouTube channel, Financial Solutions Today Facebook page. We have the LSA page. So we really encourage everyone to repeatedly, okay, uh, uh, watch this until you absorb and learn and apply it into your life. And at the same time, we are requesting everyone to share it to every people that you know. The last thing here in the 10, 20, 70 rule is the 70%, the expenses. Now, the expenses, we need to break it down into two things. One is what we call the needs. When we say needs, you cannot live without it. Ibsabihin, you can't live without it. So meaning, it's a need. Kailangan natin yan. Hindi ka magubuhay ng wala yan. So what are those needs? Of course, like you do groceries. Okay? Siyempre, nandiyan yung mga food. Okay? Usually, pag uh, ibibreakdown natin itong 70%, Okay, uh, how many percent goes to your needs and how many percent goes to the other thing? So, tignan muna natin kung ano-ano yung mga gasos mo. Groceries, uh, education, like tuition, or mga other expenses in the education. Okay, uh, so these are, these are your needs. Okay, so meaning it's part of your life. The other thing is, we call it, the wants. So what are the wants? The wants is, opposite the need is, you can live. Ibig <laughs> sabihin, you can live without it. So ibig sabihin, pwede namang wala yan. Mabubuhay ka naman ng wala yan. Pero, hindi naman niya masama. No? Part ng buhay yan. No? So kailangan din natin yan. Especially kung meron ka naman budget. Like shopping. Dining out. So importante na alam natin siya i-breakdown, okay, like partying, uh, some of your hobbies, okay, ano ba yung mga hobbies mo, like you do bowling, okay, so whatever. So of course, another part of that is travel. So these are your wants. So meaning, if, 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 if you need to, if you need to, uh, kung kulang yung income mo dito sa mga, uh, says, dito sa mga kailangan bayaran mong utang at dito sa iyong mga needs, most likely, this has to wait. The wants has to wait. Okay? Kasi pwede naman niyang wala. No? But, of course, we work so hard to be able to allot some funds, okay, some money to, uh, to be able to buy these things. So, probably, 50% of the 70% goes to your needs and 20% lalagay mo sa wants mo. It depends on your situation. Okay? So, I hope that you learn from this, that we will apply this again. Don't forget to uh, subscribe first. Please, I'm requesting everyone to please subscribe to this YouTube channel so that uh, you'll be notified with other uh, topics in the coming days. And please share 
please share it to every people that you know so we can spread this very powerful uh, financial solutions to the learnings. Okay, so thank you so much everyone for your time. God bless everyone. See you at the top.